Hi gang, I'm going to show you some fun I had with this thick side glow fiber optic cable and my laser communicator. Earlier this summer, pieshop.ca, a website that sells all sorts of electronics for hobbyists and that lucky for us has a warehouse in our city, gave our local maker group, Hack613, a box of old stock to share amongst ourselves. One of the things I took was this 5mm diameter thick solid plastic fiber optic cable. But to my surprise, it wasn't what I expected. The label calls it a side light fiber optic cable, something I'd never heard of. That means it not only transmits light from one end to the other, but also emits light along its length. Other names it goes by are side glow and side emitting fiber optic cable. You can use an LED as a light source, but here I'm using a pet toy laser from a dollar store. But for my purposes, it still transmits light to the other end quite well too. You may have seen my series of videos about this laser communicator I made. The laser communicator uses sound put into a homemade amplifier followed by a simple transformer circuit to power a pet toy laser. The light from the laser fluctuates according to the sound. At the other end I use either a solar cell or a photoresistor as input to another amplifier which together turn the fluctuating light back into sound. But that setup transmitted the light through the air. I wanted to see if I could transmit the light through the fiber optic cable instead. I first need an easy way to make the laser point directly into one end of the cable, so I remove it from the case. I then cut out pieces of old scrap plastic tubing from a local hobby store. I cut some slits out of them so that I can slip the laser onto them and hot glue that to a piece of wood. Then I cut some more tubing and slip them onto the fiber optic cable. I hot glue thin layers of plastic onto the block of wood followed by the tubes holding the fiber. A quick test shows it works. Animal and mineral. I make a similar arrangement for the other end of the fiber and point it at the photoresistor. All that was left was to try it out. I connect the radio to the amplifier at the transmitting side. I switch everything on. And as soon as I turn on the output amplifier, I get sound. It takes a lot of tuning. Eventually I get some decent sound though. Here in the dark you can see that there isn't much side light. The light's probably not bright enough. But it's transmitting to the other side very well. If you want an explanation of how fiber optics works, then check out this other video of mine that explains it using materials you probably already have in your kitchen. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more fun science videos and videos on making stuff. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. Keep on watching!